yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got the heat, got the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so tough, guys. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. This one is called Inery. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Guys, Inery has designed a proprietary layer one blockchain with the vision of laying the foundation for Web3 technology by providing the industry with a decentralized data management system that enables a new paradigm for data. Essentially, guys, database management era is ending. Decentralized data management systems are the future, seamlessly connecting with other systems, applications, and layer one networks. Now, guys, on their website here, they say, why do we need a decentralized database management solution? Well, guys, data security and online privacy is very important to both individuals and corporations. 93% of users would like to be in control of their information. They are a quantum leap. Binary is a layer one blockchain designed to offer the solution of decentralized database management with a vision of enabling a new paradigm for the data as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. It lays the foundation for web three by seamlessly connecting with systems, applications, and layer one networks. Now for a simple introduction to meet Inary DB. Inary's database management solution, Inary DB integrates blockchain functionalities with distributed database management properties, but on decentralized infrastructure guys, Binary DB supports high throughput, low latency, complex query search, and owner controlled data assets. Decentralization is in their vision and scope, as well as their ecosystem, as well as being immutable, having a distributed database and owner controlled data assets. Binary DB also allows developers and enterprises to securely store, access, manage, and deliver data on a decentralized infrastructure supporting various industries. The Binary DB comparison with other database management solutions. This here, guys, Binary is of course number one in their chart here connected with their system which is powered by binary blockchain and is immutable as i mentioned has multiple database support it is decentralized it has good speed which is fast and the front end is web gui it also has program languages adapted compared to big chain db shavi db and modex they're all powered by different things some of them are immutable some of them are not some of them have multiple database support in particular modex only only two of the only two of the other other ones are decentralized. Their speed limits by tendermint speed, moderate limits by tendermint speed as well. So as a good comparison, guys, it's safe to say that Inary is a solid choice. So let's meet the Inary blockchain now, guys. I want to start by going over some of their blockchain attributes. For instance, the fact that they're hybrid. They have a public and private chain, which is developed for their decentralized data management system in mind, but open for new projects to build and launch their tokens. They have a DAO governed ensuring cohesion and decentralized amongst states stakeholders while allowing quicker and cleaner resolutions and upgrades, their layer one proprietary solution built to facilitate scalable applications able to meet enterprise needs. They have cross-chain interoperability via Inary GUI. They enable cross-chain data exchange where you can burn on one chain, mint on the other. They also have POS, which is proof of stake. This is a consensus mechanism making the Inary blockchain stable, resulting in increased sustainability and high throughput. They also have high speed and low cost. Two sides of one coin, high throughput and low latency ensures faster transaction processing as well as low transaction costs. Due to utilization node MEM models, Inary offers increased data recovery speeds. They're also tamper resistant guys. Data once stored on the Inary blockchain cannot be modified or deleted by third parties. So again, to recap all of these guys, they are scalable, they're syllable resistant, they have energy efficiency, they are low cost, they're tamper resistant, and also guys, they're high speed. Not something to be overlooked guys. Moving on to their key features here. I wanna start by saying they're explorer which is the activity tracking on the Inary blockchain. Their wallet, which is key pair vault for secure storage and management of private keys locally on nodes across the system. Their API, which is Inary blockchain providing a myriad of API endpoints to choose from. Their clean, the Inary command interface developed for interactions with Inary based blockchain nodes and Inary DB. Their DApp ENV, you can develop, host and deploy your own decentralized applications on Inary blockchain using Inary DB. Recapping again what they say on their website here, cross-chain capability and compatibility. They're environmentally sustainable and they're governed by a decentralized autonomous organization. Their unparalleled speed, the blockchain architecture with transaction throughput of over 5,000 TPS and a block creation time of half a second guarantee unparalleled speed without compromising on security. They're Sibyl resistant. This is against Sibyl attacks by using the proof of stake consensus mechanism. They are tamper proof. The distributed data management and cryptographic hashing ensures that data once stored on the binary blockchain cannot be modified.
modified or deleted. They have high performance, high throughput and low latency, ensures faster transaction processing, which leads to impeccable performance. So needless to say guys, definitely one of the biggest strengths of Inary is the fact that they have cross-chain compatibility. This of course, as you may or may not know guys, is absolutely a game changer in a sense that we want to be able to not be restricted to one blockchain. Inary comparison with other blockchains. I find this chart very useful guys and I think it's great that they have this as a resource at our disposal. The transactional throughput is 7 TPS for Bitcoin, Ethereum 14 TPS, Polkadot 1500 TPS, Inary 5000 TPS. The block creation time 60 minutes for Bitcoin, 6 minutes for Ethereum, 60 seconds for Polkadot and for Inary it's 30 seconds. Their energy efficiency, not for Bitcoin, definitely not, not for Ethereum, yes for Polkadot, and yes for Inary. CPU optimal. When looking at the number of validators, guys, three pools with a 51% hash rate for Bitcoin, two pools for Ethereum, 200 nodes relay chain for Polkadot, and two thirds of producing blocks for Inary. When it comes to the Sibyl production, proof of work all across the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Polkadot, and proof of equal stake for Inary, which is a lot more transparent. Safety threshold for Bitcoin 51%, Ethereum 51%, Polkadot 33%, 95% for Inary, guys. Very easy to see how Inary comes out at the top of all of these cryptocurrencies i definitely like what i see guys not something to be overlooked now guys dr naveen singh he is the ceo with inary their efforts are focused on envisioning a decentralized secure and environmentally sustainable architecture for database management inary enables an affordable and scalable solution that allows people to issue and control data assets to activate a new paradigm for data accessibility his twitter is available here guys as well as his linkedin for full transparency if you want to dox it do your research, it is absolutely possible. Now, when it comes to the use cases, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna note, guys. High performance capabilities and unparalleled security allows Inary to support a wide range of use cases in different industries. Their enterprises and governments is number one, the rise of a different economy, their financial institutions, the new age for ownership. And again, guys, the game GameFi connecting to a disconnected world, their healthcare and agenda for the future of healthcare. Moving on to the roadmap, Q1 of 2020 is when they were born. Inary blockchain team assembled they determined their node distribution master and light based on available resources and function in the inary blockchain guys their hierarchical node structure based on an algorithm for validating and opening blocks their development of intrinsic inary blockchain algorithm block creation and reward allocation q2 of 2020 guys this is when the development of api functions for sending messages in json format over inary blockchain test servers set up for testing core inary blockchain api modules implementation of security mechanisms for binary files execution on binary blockchain their test phase number one their testing core binary blockchain api function deployment of rpc services for remote communication between nodes on the network. They're also empowering servers with CLI capabilities, API services, creation for monitoring balances, transactions, block information, wallet address generation and testing on test servers, value contracts becoming an irreplaceable part of binary blockchain, as well as the implementation of the token generation mechanisms for end users, guys, the template creation for sending files in JSON format, the development and implementation of the algorithm for node rankings inside binary blockchain. There's also so the test phase two, which testing remains API functions, white paper version 1.0 released and their technical white paper version 1.0 was also released q3 of 2020 guys they had a lot of new updates as well where they had testing of newly created approximation in the accounts they added their own nodes to the ecosystem their test phase three their binary blockchain deployment on multiple servers they had test phase four which was the overall binary blockchain on-chain transactions core system security and api level security q4 2020 testing of newly created approximation part two genesis and memory as well as their consensus memory allocation from genesis to account their linear circulation through the blockchain test phase catching bags and their correction testing paired connections between more than one node on a single server single and multiple server environments test phase catching bugs and their correction creating payable transactions 
transactions was adding fee analyzing JSON format for different transactions, creating and applying new testing scripts on the Inary blockchain as well. Moving into Q1 of 2021, guys, we saw more developments. The pre-seed round was conducted, optimized all actions for creator account except creation, Q2 2021 implementation and development of the Explorer, optimization node connections, seed round was conducted, technical paper 2.0 was released, Q3 of 2021 private A conducted, started community building, creating a full node documentation, set up the inflation algorithm to regulate the supply and demand the nodes, optimize the right scheduler for the active nodes. Q4 2021, we had the creation of the BEP20 INR token, white paper version 2.0 was released, the development started for the Inary DB, private testing of the blockchain, Q1 of 2022 guys, the Inary DB conception and initiation, token launch planning, smart contract audit development starts for Inary DB. Q2 2022 guys, they have their node launch development of generation of value contracts or creating a database and generating boxes for tables, upgrading generated contracts with all major query types, advanced filter, sort, select parameters, summary, auto lookup and action queries and exporting and importing for databases in JSON format. Their shell scripts for the generation of contracts and communication with blockchain and tech and databases. They have their testing and debugging shell script interaction for smart contracts. Q3 of 2022 guys, where we are now, programming library modules are starting to plan. Their programming library module development started. They're listing on centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges, their testnet launch and public testing. Looking forward to Q4 of 2022 guys, their module library development, Node, JS, Java, C++, PHP, Golang, their testing and debugging modules that's gonna be coming out. Their web GUI, which every client can run on its own something similar to php my admin mongodb gui all query functionalities database structure creation database access and edit permissions database visualization visual editor their desktop gui all query functionalities database structure creation database access and edit permissions database visualization visual editor possibilities same as web gui their testing and debugging gui functionality when it comes to the future they are importing non-relational databases from different solutions into the binary db database system adding new options for importing data from csv files so guys going over their core team here mr simon murray he is the cbe chairman this is the top head honcho of the project guys ceo and co-founder dr naveen singh as we already went over his profile mr ivan vujic he is the co-founder and chief technical officer karan veer singh he is the chief research officer michael Wichter, he is the key strategy officer tiana g gertner she is the director of marketing and PR. We also have Vincent Arawak. He is the chief marketing officer. We got more names here under their advisors list like David Monroe Anderson, Chief Obina Iyigbu. Sorry if I butchered your name there, brother. Mohammed Danish, who is a legal advisor and Stefan Oxner is an advisor. Bali Singh is also a marketing advisor. And the list goes on here, guys, with more head of ambassador programs, blockchain developers, outreach managers, research heads, community managers. The list goes on, guys. Now, when examining some of their strategic partners here, they are working with Sadika, Luna, Public Relations, and some of their Venture Capital Corporations, Nebulas, Holdings AG, Cap Lion Point, Minas Global, First Media Advance, and Zazen Switzerland. They have been featured on multiple big news outlets, guys, like Cointelegraph, Investing.com, Benzinga, Crypto Daily, Crypto Potato, Publish Zero X, Coin Checkup Blog, TCU, Tech Bullion, Yahoo Finance, Yahoo News, Yahoo Money, News BTC, Crypto News. Oh Lord, guys, the list goes on. Bitcoin is Coin Aura, Hacker Noon. Congratulations to the Inary team for all of this, guys. Huge moves on your part. We're so proud of you. I think these are major green lights definitely something to always keep in mind they do have an faq section at the bottom of their homepage here guys i would definitely encourage you to check that out if you do have some more questions about their project they are able to answer them here guys and they're doing all that they can to make all of their investors happy and content with the situation shout out to all my students i love you shout out to the crypto class king shout out to the lambo gang shout out to the whale king shout out to the hodl gang thank you for always your continued support guys i really appreciate it if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to smash that like button for me drop a comment in the comment section below please remember guys we are an impartial channel so whether your opinion is negative or positive we'd be more than happy to hear it that being said guys class is now dismissed we'll see you in our next video professor crypto out